What's going on guys? So this is gonna be a video I'm making about World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's right. I am gonna be voicing my opinions. There's not gonna be anything that's gonna show on the video, so you guys are feel free to minimize this, listen to me bullshit, to me rant about this whole thing about WoW and the cross faction stuff. So Long story short is this, I am a WoW player, I have been a WoW player for almost 16, 17 years. Okay, I've been playing since Wrath of the Lich King. Um, oh shit, that's almost 2009, yeah, 2000, 2009, 2010, sorry, 13 years, 13 years, I've been a WoW player. I have always played Alliance. I have switched the Horde a couple times, but I didn't really, really care for it. Um, I have witnessed people literally, literally, literally quit this game over the factions. Um, I've had people come from the Horde, come start a new character on the Alliance, saying that, oh, blah, 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 this person is fucking a piece of shit, and don't listen to him. They would come in trade chat. And tell the person that they're a piece of shit, basically. Because they ganked them out in fucking wild or some shit. Alright? So, I am not a Horde player. I never have been a Horde player. I fucking hate the Horde. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I fucking hate the Horde. And what Ian is doing to this game, in my opinion, what Ian is doing to this game is absolutely dog shit. Absolute dog shit, man. You are ruining. I'm going to go on a rant here. All right. Okay. I'm not even the biggest WoW player you will ever meet. I'm not Pyromancer. I'm not Asmongold. I'm not Taliesin. I'm not fucking Beluar. I'm not Salsa Breezy. I am just an average WoW player that is speaking out on my behalf of this faction. Uh, cross faction stuff. Is it a good thing? Let's look at the pros. The pros is, yes, it's a good thing because it lets people get into groups a little bit more. Um, the group finder is absolutely trash. The LFR finder, the dungeon finder takes freaking hours just to find a freaking group. For me, I, I know I've waited in queue at least an hour and a half um, just waiting, just sitting there waiting on people to join. LFR, for example, me and my buddy Drew waited in LFR for almost two hours for a tank. Just one tank. That is it. One fucking tank, man. Do I think it's a good thing? Yes, I think it's a good thing. But at the same time, I think it's a bad thing. The reason why I say it's a bad thing is because Blizzard knows, they know damn well that they are losing players and they know that they have to do something to bring those players back or to group those players together just, just crush them together and hopefully it works i got news for you blizzard the minute that you removed tier sets was the stupidest thing stupidest thing you have ever done on this game it literally made me quit i was a wow player for 10 years 11 years non-stop and it made me quit as soon as you announced that you were removing tier sets from this game, it made me quit. Why did it make me quit? It made me quit because I realized that I'm paying money to a lazy, lazy company that doesn't want to do any damn work on design uh, for class fantasies and stuff like that. And just tier sets. I just hated it. I freaking hated it. The minute you removed tier sets was the stupidest decision you have ever made. Um, two, let's go on to... Um, the war mode. War mode was a fantastic idea. I love war mode. It's great. The fact, the fact that you can switch from on to off is awesome. What I don't like about it is that you have to turn war mode on in the freaking Stormwind or in Orgrimmar only. Why can't we turn war mode on in any city? I, I, it's beyond me. Why? It's just dumb. It's stupid. Another stupid decision you have also made. Um, is creating dust, um, dust and parchments and stuff to, to, to change your talents and stuff. You got rid of it completely. Why? 
I have to go to the fucking auction house. I have to go to the fucking auction house. And I have to buy a fucking whatever shit to change one talent. That's right, one fucking talent. I have to go to the auction house and to change it. All because, oh, inscription is, oh, we're not making no money. Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a shit? Honestly, who gives a shit about inscriptionist? I'm sorry, I'm an inscriptionist. I don't give a shit about my inscription fucking uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, profession, you know? It's just, it's bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit that you deleted the dust to get, to get rid of the talents. Every single move you have made in this game is literally destroying it. I am just going to throw it out there. Asmongold knows this. Fucking Belluar knows this. Hell, even Soul knows this, and Soul loves loves the fact that changes are being made in this game. I have watched countless videos on his channel. If you haven't already, man, please go sub to Soul Sub Breezy. He's a fantastic human and a fantastic creator for WoW content. Um, I used to watch Pyromancer all the time until his rant, and then I just I'm just like, yeah, I don't I don't I don't want to watch this guy anymore. I I really really don't want to watch this guy anymore because he's he just ranted. And he switched everything over to Final Fantasy. I'm just going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. because You know what? I'm just going to scoot this close. I'm, we're we're going to get into it. Are you ready? Final Fantasy is going to fail. You know why? Because WoW is the real RPG. That's going to stay around for years. There, uh, There's always news. There's always news saying that there's going to be a WoW killer. And I, I, you know, there were so many WoW killers in the past. There was Terra. There was Star Wars, Swartar, fuck, whatever you want to fucking call it. There was uh, New World. Um, this new one, Ashes of Creation. They're saying that this is going to be a freaking WoW killer. Hell, even Pokemon Legends Arceus, Ar Arceus could be in a WoW killer, right? But at the same time, man, I'm just, I'm just going to give you my thoughts straight up. I'm not going to make any bullshit. No beating around the bush. You guys are screwing up your game to the fullest, man. Your deal with Microsoft is probably the best thing you've done in years. That's just my opinion. <laughs> That's my opinion. That's the, your best thing you have done in years. The, the worst thing. I think the worst thing that you have done is the fact that you have time-gated content just to make sure we keep paying and playing your game. I said it. I said it, man. I fucking said it. Your time getting content just to make sure that we are spending our buku bucks to play fucking World of Warcraft. Why? You guys have enough money, man. You guys have enough money. Why, why should we pay more money to you? Because you are not developing content, man. Kodak needs to get out of there, man. He needs to get out of there. Like, it, you need to remove him. He's a terrible CEO. I, Mike Morheim at least got most most of the stuff done, man. He, he was a fantastic CEO for this company. He actually truly cared about the players, and I really truly believe that he did. A lot of people will disagree me on, with me on that, but at the same time, I just really think that he did care about us, truly. Because the minute we lost tier sets... Is the minute that freaking the new guy took over it was Ian. Uh, Ian took over in Legion. And I was like, who is this guy? Do we even know this guy? Uh, and no offense to you, Ian, if you do watch this video, which you're probably not going to watch this video. But at the same time, you're fantastic. You're a fantastic dude, man. You're, you're very motivated. You're very positive. But at the same time, you need to make the right approach on things. Don't take a fucking game that has been around for since 2004, early alpha 2003, 2004, whatever. I know Asma Gold's probably going to correct me if he does watch this, um, but at the same time, um, yeah, you are ruining the foundations of a video game that people have loved for years. People have read the lore. Look at fucking Noble87, man. He has been, or Noble87, he makes lore videos. What's going to happen when you just change the lore and say, oh, the Jailer's done all this shit? No, man. You guys hired Christy Golden. She's a fantastic, fantastic writer. I just don't understand why. What, what is making you guys change everything? It doesn't make no sense to me at all. 
I, I, I was just baffled. I was completely baffled when you removed my goddamn tier sets from my beloved video game for years. I have, I have been giving you guys money for a long fucking time. And I'm just going to say it right now, man. You really pissed me off whenever you remove tier sets. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very disappointed, man. Making Lord, it just doesn't make sense. I was so hyped to fight Nzoff. Or Nazoff, excuse me. I was so hyped to fight Nazoff. As soon as I saw that Nazoff was only a fucking raid patch, I was like, what is this? What is this, man? This guy has been corrupting all of the people in the past expansions, and at the same time, you're just gonna throw him you're gonna go you're gonna throw him in a raid, and that's it. He's done. That's it. That's it. Why? Why would you do that? And on top of that, you got rid of tier sets during B of A. And they didn't come back until the final patch. I wonder why. Why did they not come back until the final patch of fucking, or they're coming back in the final patch of Shadowlands? Because you know you're losing your player base. That's why. You, you know, you know that you're losing your player base. And you're doing something about it. Which is smart. It really is smart. It's not smart to create the factions and throw them together because there has been wars. I have gotten into arguments about people versus Horde and Alliance. I absolutely hate the Horde. I told you that. I'm just going to throw it out there, man. There's going to be a lot of hate on this video, but at the same time, I really don't care. I am an Alliance player. I, I've always been an Alliance player. What is another thing that you have done that has really pissed me off in the past years? The fact that you moved the RBGs to being Horde specific or being a hidden. What about Mythic Plus? Throwing a rating out to show how good people are for Mythic Plus? No, man, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. There should not be a rating for a Mythic Plus. I, it's stupid, stupid idea. And on top of that, creating a mount that we have to get that goes away, mind you, that goes away. Not only do we have a mount for Mythic Plus that goes away, we have a mount that goes away for Arenas. We have a mount that goes away for RBGs, getting the 50 wins for RBGs, or 30 wins, some shit like that. And we won't get it until the next, next expansion. I remember a time whenever I was playing Wrath. That I was one achievement away on 10 man and 25 man Naxxramas. I messaged your team and I told them, hey man, I was one achievement away for both of these mounts. Can you just give me the fucking mount? And you know what your team said to me? Your team said to me, quote unquote, I remember this. Times change. You will learn to understand our policies. I'm sorry for your loss. Good luck in Azeroth. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. What? Why? Why would you say that, man? Like, I worked hours. I remember I did a twenty-hour raid, nonstop. Twenty-hour raid with my guildmaster, which was Kai's. I uh, I can't remember the name of the guild, uh, but yeah, I, he he was brutal, man. Twenty hours in Naxxramas trying to get these achievements. And you're just going to sit there and tell me that, too bad, you won't get your mounts. And on top of that, you have removed them from the game. You have said after this, you have said this clearly after this. In Wrath of the Lich King, you have said that you will not, we will not remove mounts from this game ever again. Well, let's see what happened. You remove the Grinning Reaver. You remove the Bat from the store. You remove the fucking um, Zulian Tiger and the uh, Swift for ZC Raptor. You remove the Brontosaurus. Uh, the list goes on and on, man. When are you? When are you going to stop giving us false positives and broken lies and give us some goddamn truth? Why are you keeping? us interested in this game if you keep removing stuff 
that we're trying for. I can understand the time gating, I can, but putting mounts behind time gating is stupid as shit. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it, it's dumb. And on top of the fact, you have designers or fucking graphic designers that can't even design us a mount for the 450 achievement for mounts, 500 achievement for mounts, 650, or sorry, 600, 550, 600, and 650 uh, for mounts. And there's over, I think right now, there's 683 mounts in the video game itself. And my buddy has almost 690 something. I can't remember, uh, but he's really close. Um, you have not designed mounts. You were doing this every expansion or every two expansions, I think, but th there's just none left for you to design. You need to hire graphic designers and get these mounts out there. Uh, this is not, this is not a hate video for Blizzard. I love Blizzard and Entertainment. I love them. I do. I love the decisions they're making. No, um, this is a video that I am making from the bottom of my fucking heart, man. I want you guys to create better content. I I have loved this game for years. I used to make content on this video game. Asmongold watched one of my videos about the Bengal Tiger uh, rumor going around that we could get the Bengal Tiger. And I appreciate that, brother. If you do watch this, thank you uh, for watching that. I know that you said that my video looked like shit and it looked like a third grader did it uh, on uh, Windows Media Player. But at the same time... I put a lot of heart in that video, man. I really did. I put a lot of heart in that video. And you helped me uh, get my channel up there. So thank you very much. Um, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm pissed. I am absolutely, absolutely pissed at the fact that Blizzard is just turning a blind eye to its, its subscribers, to its, its players hell to its lore masters the people that love the lore is just turning a blind eye is destroying everything it is called world of warcraft not world of friendcraft or world of uh let's all get along no man no you don't mix factions together this is gonna end my rant i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe it does help me leave a comment below it also helps me with the algorithm that is youtube Peace.